Good afternoon. Our first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Jack Graham, who is the Minister at Parkhead Congregational Church in Glasgow. Looking for a solution to his loneliness, a man decided to buy a talking budgie, as you do. He was persuaded to buy the best cage that he could from the shop, and cage in hand took the bird home. The end of the week, he returned to the shop to complain that the bird hadn't spoken. Shopkeeper suggested that perhaps the, the bird needed some kind of stimulation. Uh, maybe running up and down a wee ladder would be the solution, and the man returned home with his new ladder for the bird's cage. At the end of another week, the man came back to the shop with the same complaint. No word from the budgie. This time a mirror was suggested and purchased and taken home. The same scenario happened for a further two weeks, with a bell and a swing being purchased on both occasions. On the fifth week, the man entered the shop and declared that the bird had died. The stunned shopkeeper asked if any words had been spoken before its demise. And the man replied that the bird had, yes, indeed spoken. Did you ever think of buying seed? <laughs> the bird had everything to make its cage the envy of other birds. But it didn't have what it needed to keep it alive. St. Paul gives the same message in his letter to the Corinthian church. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but don't have love, I'm only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but don't have love, I am nothing. This building is an amazing structure. And this chamber is a place where um, I'm sure there is eloquent and intelligent debate taking place. But none of it counts for anything without love. The life of this parliament, it seems to me, does not depend on the quality of the building or the clever use of facts and economics, although I'm quite sure these are a tremendous asset. The life of this parliament depends on you, its members, having a heart for people a compassion for those in need, and a desire to serve and strive for a fair and just society. Without that, the most eloquent words, the most knowledgeable words, count for nothing. May you be inspired in this coming week to serve as your heart guides you. 